Okay, it's Father's Day this weekend, and paternity leave is once again in the headlines. Fox Size Allison Morris is here with a look at the push to. Well, give dads time off now, like moms. Yeah, or just to give people the option so that, you know, whether it's the mom or the dad, someone can be home with the kids when they need you most. So, you know, Darian, Steve, the big tech companies out in Silicon Valley have really led the way as far as family leave goes. Facebook gives moms and dads 17 paid weeks off. Google gives 12 for primary caregivers. Bank of America actually is stand out in the banking industry, giving 12 weeks of paid parental leave. And Johnson & Johnson just announced last month it's offering parents up to 17 weeks weeks of leave. But a lot of dads don't get the option to be home with their children when they're born, and that has some experts saying it's bad for society and bad for business. Are we really so far behind that we need science to tell us that men are absolutely capable of taking care of children? A question Josh Levs asks in his new book, All In. Levs argues our work-first culture is failing families and businesses, and he says we need both paid maternity and paternity leave. So what we have right now is a structure that is sexist. Our lack of paid maternity leave and our lack of paternity leave in this country are based entirely on a presumption that women are going to stay home and men are going to stay at work. So in order to tackle that. What we need to do is create a policy in this country in which we have options for families. It's best for business, it's best for men and women and children. And it's not just Lev's opinion, it's a hot topic. Just last week, Richard Branson announced Virgin Group will offer some of its employees up to a year of paid parental leave. Last month, Tom Shoes founder Blake Mykoski told Glamour magazine how taking paternity leave changed his life. Lev's and his family are passionate about the subject because they've been there. When he was working at Time Warner in 2013, Lev's was given just two weeks of paid leave when his third child was born in spite of the company's 10-week parental leave policy. There was this extremely unusual policy at Time Warner under which anyone could get 10 weeks of paid leave for caregiving unless you are a man who impregnated your own wife. Lev's filed a claim with the EEOC, which he won, and a year later, Time Warner changed its policy. Now he's arguing that our country needs a federal law mandating family leave, and he says it's better not only for families, but also for businesses. Sometimes the best person for a job is a woman. Obviously. So why would you possibly want a structure in which you're pushing women to stay home and men to stay at work? Also, what happens when you offer paid family leave is fewer people drop out of the workforce. So you have more people contributing to corporate productivity and you have more overall tax revenue as a result of it. And there are a lot of options on the table. There's the Family Act, which would add on a tax to cover paid leave. Lev's is even suggesting a family leave 401k of sorts, where people would pay into a fund that would later cover them when they need to take paid time off when a child is born, or even if a family member is sick. Whatever you think, Lev's brings up a great point, though, that we are now a society of working men and women, and we shouldn't just expect that women are going to be the ones who are staying at home. Who can argue with that? True point, indeed. All right, Allison. And a lot of companies, yeah. you know, they're kind of getting into it, so good thing. Nice. Yeah. Thank you.